So in the absence of presence, <laughs> there's only that repetitive mental noise. And part of that mental noise is the story of me. It's the problematic story that is hoping at some point in the future it will no longer be problematic. Not realizing that what it calls future has no actual existence except as another thought. The only existence what we call future has is as a thought in your head. Beyond that, there's no such thing as future. If there were such a thing as future, somebody, some great explorer, would have found it. And we would have a monument. He discovered the future. So far, it hasn't happened. And it's not likely to happen. Because it is a conceptual thing only. When the future comes, which is a thought, it can only appear in the space of your aware presence, the light of consciousness. It can only appear as the now. Whatever form it takes in the space of now that you are, something appears. That's the, the now, the form of now. So, no such thing as future. Future is a thought. And this also applies to the past. There is no past. Even if time travel were a possibility, you could only arrive ever in the now. You could never say, oh, now, now I'm in the past. You see, already the sentence doesn't make sense. Time, which is past and future, can only appear as a thought. Time, you can, if you were a, a police inspector and you were looking for a criminal called time, a, a very dangerous criminal, because he goes around murdering people all the time and killing off everything, thus deceiving them that time is going to get them where they want to get to. And then after, after this criminal has deceived them, he or she kills them. Everybody's hoping to get to the future. And of course, the very essence of future is in the end, it kills you. Time kills you. Everybody's hoping for more time to fulfill themselves. And then time gets you. So the police inspector looking for the criminal called time can only find secondary evidence. Yeah, he's been here. There's a dead body. We cannot fully understand, nor do we need to, through the analytical mind, how it is that it appears as if there were future and past. But we can see without using, without making it into a philosophy, but much in a much more simple way, by simply looking and seeing all there ever is, is now. <laughs>